Hi team, Professor Blowers here and excited to work with you this week on creating pivot tables and pivot charts. And so for project 4A, this is our e-text, you're going to learn how to create pivot table reports, use slicers and search filters, modify a pivot table, and create a pivot chart. You'll notice that these are all links that you can click on in the e-text and learn more about these objectives. For 4B, and again, you're welcome to do the simulation or the projects from scratch uh, by the book, just so that we're clear, just for the A and the B projects, upload something to Canvas. All right, uh, for 4B, we will use a data model to analyze data from multiple sources. It's a really great project. So you'll learn how to create a pivot table from a data model, create and format a 3D pie pivot chart, and you may even use Power BI to analyze data. And here's what we have on our plate for the remainder of the quarter through December 16th. So you just finished the midterm. Uh, this week for A, for B, the quiz and the grader are due. Um, but you have a flex week to work on chapter five and to work on chapter six because managing large workbooks, using advanced sorting and filtering, these are important concepts, as is as are pivot tables. Right, And so if you need to go back to these projects or anything from chapters 1 through 3, uh, you are more than welcome to. Let me know if you need anything or want me to put you in touch with more resources, which are available here on my lab IT. Here's everything that's available within chapter 4. You have the simulations. Here's the grader and the quiz. The e-text, of course. There's the data files, if you're following by the book. You can also learn by PowerPoint presentation and videos for Excel chapter four. And that's here on our book, right? So for instance, our first objective, will tell you what a list is, source data, and the first activity will be creating a pivot table report. And we'll get there here quite soon. And you will have downloaded the 4G Aquatics file by clicking download materials. And again, you'll need to upload it back to my lab IT. You'll have three chances at 4G Aquatics. Uh, so go ahead, use your resources and use this video. Uh, hope it's helpful. Um, kind of a new thing that I'm doing, so please bear with me and, and thank you for uh, the feedback as well. So you know I'm working on a Mac and so it'll give you a zipped file. You'll need to extract it or unzip it and this is what will come out right here in a 4G Aquatics. There's an XLSX file, a JPEG, the instructions, which, which is the Word document, a CSV file, and an accounting database that we will be using for this project. And I've opened up the Student Excel 4G Aquatics file, as well as in a different tab, I have the aquatics instructions so I can follow along, highlight as necessary as we work on the project, and I can even come back to different topics or even highlight something that I want to look even further into, right? There's a lot of ways that we can learn and I'm excited to show you how I interact with Excel and what's worked for my students over the past four years. What you'll notice on my Excel is that I have all of the tabs up at top, home, insert, draw, page layout, and so on, but I don't have names for the groups. And I know that many of you are working on PC and you should be able to find these. Um, this button up here, tell me or show me how to uh, do something. It's a magnifying glass or light bulb. Um, that's a quick way to find a lot of the shortcuts to get to what we need to do in this project based on these instructions here. So let's move on to the first step in which we need to go ahead. Uh, the first step actually is to um, open the Excel workbook. Zero points, but we're on to step number two right now. And it says to click cell A2, alpha two, and it says month. So as we move on to step two, in A2, click on the insert tab and you're going to want to click on recommended pivot tables and that is in a different, let's see, the tables group on a PC and I click it and it automatically shows up like this on a Mac. For you on a PC, you'll need to click in the bottom left after you click on recommended pivot tables, click on blank pivot tables and you should be able to see what I see here. 
Now here's one of my favorite parts of Excel is pivot chart. So you need to drag the correct fields to the correct box down below. Yours may look different than mine, but all you need to do is put month in the filters box. Pool is not supposed to be there. And so make sure item is in the columns area. Pool belongs down under rows. And be sure if you haven't to drag amount down to values. Let me show you. So that your pivot chart looks as such. And this is really great. And it's exciting because what it does is takes all of this information under aquatics revenue, right? Which is just kind of, you know, not sorted correctly. It's not terribly relevant and it has not as much meaning right to make sales decisions business decisions as when you click on sheet two this is our pivot chart right here so check your numbers check all of the categories but most importantly in cell h11 hockey 11 you need the number 167,648 so now let's format cells you'll want to select the data from the range B5, Bravo 5, on through H11, Hockey 11. Now, again, this will look different on your PC or Mac, all right, so bear with me. On PC, on the Home tab in the Number Group, on the very bottom right of that group, there should be a little arrow in the drop-down. Uh, here on the Mac, what I do is I go to More Number Formats, so that Format Cells comes up, click on Number, and from here we'll be able to um, make a few changes. From here all you need to do is use the 1000 separator which as you'll notice puts in a comma click OK and we're on to step number four and this is much more easy to read when you agree. Now here's a fun one for you for step number four right so be sure that you deselect the um, range and click once inside of your pivot table and we're going to insert slicers this is again an important part of pivot tables so go ahead and click on the pivot table analyze tab and from here you're going to click insert slicer next what we click on is pool and item right and then go ahead and click OK notice the change here and let's go ahead use this oh pardon me <laughs> I say to the cursor I need to move this and this so that we can make edits to these slicers here so what you want to click is tropics pool and notice how our pivot table filters this is the power of pivot tables right the power of pivot tables is in this filtering right here. Over in item, click on spa fees and notice what happens. Pardon me for the computer going a little bit slow. Now this gives us a lot more information. Have a look and reflect on what we've done so far. So the next step, it's important to have the right cursor, which is this one. We're going to move pool up just in the top left corner of E3, Echo 3, right here, all right? And item, drag and drop up in G. Gamma 3? Maybe it's golf, because H is hockey, I is indigo. Got to memorize these. So <laughs> here's the next step. So now here's a difference likely between mine and yours. It may say sheet 1, 2, 3, or so on. But go ahead down here in the bottom left, right click on that and you're going to click move or copy and then you need to click create a copy then go ahead and press OK and you'll notice how we've added a new tab down at the bottom here's where the spelling is important on a grader go ahead and right click on the copy right here you'll rename it capital T tropics T R O P I C S space pool then go ahead and press enter after this you'll click on sheet two or one or whichever one that you made a copy of 
So, don't worry, we're going to delete something. Now that we've made a copy, it's all right. But first, we need to clear the filters. And you'll notice the funnel right here and pool and item. Now, this gives me a shortcut, Alt-C, maybe Control-C for a Mac. Go ahead and look into that. Um, first thing you'll want to do, though, is let's clear the... Let's clear Tropics pool here. It's taking my computer just... Oh, I'm sorry. You click the um, filter up here at the top on both pool and item. And again, apologies. Computer's going just a little slow. There we go. Now both uh, filters are cleared. I'm going to... I accidentally clicked this check box. Um, after this, you just need to delete them. So I'll click over to pool and click the delete key and then item here same thing this cursor so that you have the handles surrounding it right there use this cursor and you can get rid of that so that your um, Excel file looks like this and so as you're following along we are just wrapping up with step five we're going to rename the sheet to Q revenue right and right after this we'll insert a pivot chart so go ahead on the bottom right right click and uh, rename it ca uh, to capital Q space revenue R-E-V-E-N-U-E -E -E, and press enter and we're almost done with part one of this we're on to step six and so all you need to do is in 2Q revenue click inside the um, pivot table here and click on the insert tab and from here uh, it'll look again different on your PC but look for charts wherever you see charts um, you're going to click on pivot chart and it may look different for you at the beginning and again if you're on a Mac it'll look different like me but click you can there's different ways you can do this so I click in the chart area and go down to change chart type I go to column, and the correct column you're looking for is a stacked column, right? You can follow along on other videos, or uh, you can follow along via the book or the simulation. This here's another way to get the stacked column chart, and yours should look just like this. From here, we need to move the chart, so click on the design tab up at the top and you'll find a move chart and from here you want to move it to a new sheet and I believe we're calling it to Q revenue let's make absolutely just making sure it's called you click new sheet and it's to Q revenue chart and then you're able to click OK and you'll notice that the chart created its own tab down at the bottom and from here you click on the design tab and yours may look different than mine uh, there will be a drop down instead of this right here um, but according to the instructions what are we looking for bear with me a moment and so as we move on to step seven which will be our last for the moment um, you're going to add data labels so that the numbers show up on the middle of here and you want either layout or style three Sorry, my Mac is going a little bit slowly today. Uh, and again, I'm going to utilize this button I'm highlighting up at the top. And chart elements. Uh, it's a plus sign for a Mac, for a PC. Um, but you can always search for chart elements, add chart elements, data labels, and you want to make sure that they're right here in uh, the center. This is a sign that I need to give this computer a break and finish it up tomorrow slowing down recording the video goodness just making sure the video is working and we're back with the data labels now your bars should appear wider and for step uh, you're gonna change the chart title the chart title pardon me insert a custom footer which should be familiar and then on step 8 you're gonna add a new worksheet which again is quite familiar insert another pivot table um, you're going to place the supplier field with the supplier tables in the columns area. Pretty similar things. You're going to get a lot of practice um, with all of these different chart elements, pivot tables and pivot charts. So again, uh, looking forward to you uh, working on chapter four 
And uh, let's see here. Go ahead and watch the videos on my lab IT. Watch my videos. Uh, use your resources right here on my lab IT. And let me know if you have any questions. Reach out on Teams. And uh, can't wait for Chapter 5.